Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. In the last episode, Neil left the party so he could take the role of president at the Rolex Company, leaving Will, Kara, and Eric the only members of the party left. We met the people of the Natives Village, whom the laborers have told us about. And we headed down to Anchor Wat in order to look for another mystic statue. We are about kinda sorta halfway through this area. We transformed the Freedom before the end of the last video, and it's gonna make getting rid of all the enemies in this section that we are at even easier. Now, this is basically as far as we're gonna be able to go, kind of. Because you can't really go any further, well, not much further past the dark space, but there are a few enemies that we can take care of, such as these three bushes, and of course these things. If I could get rid of them, that would be great. How many enemies do we have? Okay, we got a third one down here. You can't go through past these bushes. Remember, it's the big bushes that will get in your way. The small bushes are just part of the ground. You can walk over them. You should be fine. This is where we came to this area from. And if I could get rid of this thing, that'd be great. There we go. Now I got two more enemies. Straight to the north is the entrance to the next area that we need to go to. There's one of the enemies. And that last one I need to take care of is that bush. So we might want to go over there and torch it so that way we can get the stat boost and then get right on out of here. Why didn't that thing split into four? Come on. There we go. And of course we got another health bonus, so we now have about 35 hit points. And apparently we gotta go to the other side here if we want to enter the next area here, straight ahead. Now we're in the inside passage. Now that we have the Dark Friar, we can get the jump on these guys and take them out very easily. We can go to the left or we can go to the right. I'm gonna go in this direction first because I believe there is something that I need to take care of first. And it involves these stupid stone golems. Now I need to get the... Oh boy, I, ca I have the trigger, don't die. Well, we can't go in that direction any further because that thing is blocking our path. So, and the only way to get him to move out of the way is to come is to get out of here, come back, and then get on the stairs, because that's the only way you're going to get this thing on screen without triggering it in any way. And with that, we should be able to go to the left. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this, this part of the left path for now, because that's the way to the end of the dungeon here. And I'm going to go to the right instead. That does lead to a dead end, but it does lead to something that we're going to need. Just as soon as I take care of all of these purple skulls, of course. Alright. How, how are we doing? Okay, we got three enemies. I'm definitely going to be checking my map a lot through here. Just so I can tell if I've pulverized everything in the immediate area. I know the other two enemies are probably going to be to the left, but... For now, let's not worry about them, let's just get over here, because there's something that we're going to get for Frieden in this little area here. Just as soon as we get rid of all of the enemies here, of course. And Frieden makes this so much easier. So much easier. You definitely cannot fight these two things as well, believe it or not. Let me just open up a path here. And with a double 
kill with that Dark Friar. We have a defense bonus, and we are free of enemies here. Now, what is up here? Well, it turns out it's another Dark Space Portal. But if you go into it, you have another power for Freedon. <laughs> it is going to be pretty awesome to pull off and pretty easy to learn, as you'll soon see. This is the third and final power for Freedon, and it is called the Earthquaker. The Earthquaker is a dark power that can only be used by Freedon, the Dark Knight. This causes earthquakes. The enemy won't be able to move for a long time. Push the attack button when jumping down. So basically you gotta jump off a ledge, and then while you're falling down, you press A, and Freedon will stick his door in the ground and it'll cause a huge earthquake. Freedon's power is the Earthquaker. When he uses it, his enemy can't move for a long time. And that's basically the only other hint about it that you're going to get from Gaia, so we might as well just go ahead and continue on with the left path. Now that we've finished off everything over here, so let's just go down this little path here, and then head straight to the left, because there are no more enemies that we need to clobber on this side of the inside passage. And now that we've got this area cleared up, it's going to be a little easier to get here. And the little passage leading south to the right, we need to go there to continue on with the dungeon. But we're going to explore here as well because, well, we'd be able to find some stuff. Get out of the way of these fireballs. Take care of these things. Charge the fireball up yet again. take care of these guys simultaneously and we should be able to find something at the end of this area and we finished off all the enemies so we have 36 hit points now I believe and in here is the third of four red jewels if I remember correctly I believe we found one no oh, we have two well, we, we'll still be exploring. Apparently that was the second one and not the third one. Apparently, the next section will probably have two. For now, though, let's just worry about getting rid of all these enemies. Killing off these last two things on the wall to get the strength boost. And then going up here to find yet another part of the dungeon here. The road to the main hall. Now, we have, do have a few enemies over here. Definitely want to explore, though. And, hmm, I may have to drop down here in order to fight them off. You can fight them from a distance if you want, but... You're better off just doing it from close range just to be able to get rid of them. And there's two of them down. We have three more left to go. And we may have to drop down just to get rid of some of them some of them as well. There's one of them down. And it is far, still far easier to destroy everything with Freedon, even this late in the game. And there's one more enemy that we need to fight off. He may be all the way on the other side, I think. No, he's straight, he's straight ahead. It's probably going to be a bush enemy or something. Or another one of those guys with the extending heads. Oh, it's going to be over there. Well, we can't deal with him for right now because we have to find another path that leads to that part to the right so we can finish off that enemy. But for now, let's just go ahead and head to the first floor of the main hall. There is a chest here. But we will have to do some things in order to get to it. For right now, though... Let's go ahead and take on the rest of these skeletons that I stayed quiet just to make sure I destroyed all of them. 
And we also have this path working for us as well. So we may not want to go up those stairs yet. That may be our ticket to that final enemy in the road to the main hall. There is also a dark space here. We can't reach it right now, but we will be able to get to it later. For now though, let's just enjoy the strength bonus and continue down this path. Now, in here, should be one more enemy. And it should be able to get us to something else that we need to kill off. And apparently, it seems to be right there. Oh, I see where it is now. Oh, it was right next to me. No wonder I couldn't find it. I thought it would be right over there in that little dead end there. Just like one of the field areas we had been in. But we do have a defense boost. And we have this thing on the ground that's shining every so often. And if you press A on it, you will get the black crystal shades. Or the black crystal glasses. We will need this for a later room. Which we will be actually be entering rather shortly. For now though, let's just get up here to the second floor and as soon as we get up here setting one foot aside inside the floating crystal started to glow as soon as you go in here you will be blinded by the light that is not exactly a good thing now, you can move around in this area without the glasses, but you will not be able to see a thing. To remedy this, you want you have to get the black glasses, you have to equip them, and then press B once you have them equipped, and the light will suddenly stop blinding you. They block out a lot of light, and I believe that these are the same black glasses that were mentioned in the diaries of the uh, dead bodies that we found recently. Now, we have two holes here. You can it drop down either one of... Okay, that wasn't it. That was another... There's another hole that we need to go down. Or a set of holes. And we have, apparently have to be well in order to go through that little slot in the wall. But for now... Let's drop down here. We finally reached the dark portal here. And we can finally change back the will just so we can continue on with the rest of the journey. Alright, we're back to playing as well. Let's get out of here and head back up those stairs. And once we go back up those stairs, we can head back to the left and go through that hole in the wall, that little slit there that we just saw, and we can just cycle slide through it. We're a lot stronger now that we've gotten some strength bonuses, and if you drop down this hole, you will get another red jewel. Now, to get back up to the stairs. Which means we're gonna have to go all the way back here and climb the stairs one more time. And now that we're in this area, we could go up the stairs, but there's a few more things that we can find, such as this HP bonus. So now we're at 37 hit points, and as you can see, we are nearly maxed out on health. We have had quite the journey, I do have to admit. And, well, we've looped around the room, so now we can just go back down here and head up the stairs through the third floor of the main hall. Be sure to fight off any of the purple skulls that you find. That way it makes fighting through this whole area easy. And oh boy. 
Time to whip out that Psycho Dash down on the Mwill again. Or, you know, the Brown Skull there could just make everything more difficult. That works, too. And at least I don't lose my charge when I get hit while charging up the Psycho Dash. So I got that working for me. Also, another place to Psycho Slide. I just want to take care of this little Brown Skull first. Uh oh, boy. Not again. And he just hit me from a completely different elevation. Because, you know... Hitboxes don't work realistically in 2D overhead games. Also, you won't be able to reach the upper path for now. The upper area here. For now, you'll just be in the lower deck. There we go. So, we just have to worry about what we can take care of for right now. And I don't think I can reach that brown skull that's over there. Not as far as I know. But at least we can fight off the purple skulls and the brown skulls rather easily. Now that we are will and we have a lot more strength than usual. I'm going to take care of those that... Stone Golem that I just killed after I got rid of the Purple Skulls. And we are now at 38 hit points. Yep, 38. Just had to check the stat screen just to be sure. And in here... There is the... Fourth Ritual? Yeah, we do have the- it is the fourth red jewel. Okay, I didn't miscount. I'm gonna let go of one of them and replace it with the red jewel that I just found. I'm not going to let go the, of the other red jewels while my inventory is full. And I'm gonna show you why soon enough. But first, let's just drop down this pit and we are now finally on the upper deck of the third floor. Oh boy. Get back here. Ah, why did I do that? Okay, you win this round, but I'm going to find you again. Right after I kill all of your buddies. Especially that other stone golem. And I, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. But at least I could take care of that guy. And there's that one skull that I was looking for. That's the last enemy. We got a defense bonus. Is there anything? No, there shouldn't be anything else. We just need to go up these stairs here. And we're now on the fourth floor again. Wrong button. Also, we are now in a separate hallway, which leads up these stairs. And we are on the fifth and top floor of this area. There's nothing over here except for these stairs and this little ball of light here. Talk to it with A. Will, I've been waiting for you to come for thousands of years. What? Who are you? I am dreaming. Time has passed since the dream began, and my body became what you see. I'm joining to show you a strange image. Close your eyes. And... Whoa, there are office buildings and Japanese text and Me City and that skyscraper over there, Me Load. Oh, there are cars too. It's a picture of the modern age, but why? Huh? What was that? That is the new world. That world is all gray. This water has blue water green mountains, brown earth all over. You will usher in that world. Me? Such a strange world? Tall trees replaced by buildings, rivers replaced by roads. No matter what kind of world people have, if they think they're happy, they'll be happy. Go to the village and return those turned to stone to their original condition. Release those who have been turned gray back to their natural state.
When the blinding light stopped, I stood quietly, as if nothing had happened. Then I found the gorgon flower held tightly within my hand. A strange voice says, Let me take care of one of your red jewels. And that's why I didn't empty out all of my red jewels right away. If your inventory is full and you have red jewels, obviously you're going to have red jewels if your inventory is full at this point, the game will take the first red jewel that there is in your inventory, like the topmost slot, like the one closest to the first, and replace it with the Gorgon Flower. Don't worry about that red jewel. It will be returned to gem. So we're still going to have 40 by the time we're done with this area. But for now, we have the Gorgon Flower, and we are done with Anchor Watt. So all we need to do is get back to the village. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, of course, we have to get over here. And, of course, we can drop down at this point. And then we can go down this area. And we're going to need the black shades again. These are glasses made of black crystal. They can cut out a lot of light, as you can see. And we need to head... Oh, we can just go through here. To get back to the second floor. You could take the stairs, but I'm just going to do this. You could do that if you wanted to save your game, now that you have everything taken care of. And I don't know why I went in that direction. We need to be going this way. And with that, we'll be out of the main hall. And we'll be back in the road leading to it. From here, just keep going down this way. And you should be good. You are now on the inside passage. Thankfully, we took the left path. So all we need to do is just take this little U-turn back, and we'll be back on the beginning fork of the inside passage. And now we can take the road back to the outside passage. Again, you want to go... I believe counterclockwise in order to get out. And with that, we can go all the way over here, get back to this cobblestone like area that led to the beginning of the maze. And from here, you can just drop down and just go straight south to the entrance. We are now back at the door to Anchor Watt. Let's run all the way south, and we are now finally out of here. We are now out of the ruins area, and we can go back to the native village. <sighs> Had to get a drink of tea there while I was waiting for Will to move across the map back. And right here, I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to release the two red jewels that I have. And notice that the music here has changed. Now that we've gotten our music completed. All you need to do, equip the Gorgon Flower, and press B on the Stone Statue Girls and you'll place it in the statue's mouth and you'll return them back to their natural state. He puts one petal of the Gorgon flower into the statue's mouth. You don't understand. That's what happens if you talk to them. Now the first one just doesn't do anything. The first girl doesn't do anything if you talk to her. But if you talk to the second girl, you'll get a red jewel. This is the sixth and last red jewel of the Anchor Watt area. And as soon as you put the red jewel in the mouth, not the red jewel, the Gorgon Flower into the mouth of the third girl, 
you'll return her to stone, return her back from stone, and Kara and Eric will show up. I use sign language to talk to the villagers. The animals have returned to the forest. They no longer prey on each other. In case I forgot to mention it earlier, in the Japanese version, the natives were actually cannibals. But they censored it and changed them to just starving natives in the original... In the, not the original, but the American version for pretty obvious reasons because, you know, Nintendo of America censorship. The traders knew there was no food here and led the children away. A terrible story. Labor traders came from a town in the northwest. They took many villagers. I can't believe they would take advantage of people stricken with famine. And you get the choice to travel to that village. Let's go, because we have nothing left to do here. And we are now going to head to the last town of the game, Dao. Which is a rather, I guess you could say, Middle Eastern style village, I guess you could say. A town shining in the desert. We went to Dao. I can't go outside in a sandstorm like this. This place is supposed to be famous for labor merchants. It doesn't look like it. And you will... Once you leave this house, you'll see the town. There is a bit of a sandstorm here. I kind of like the little layer of sand that is blowing across the area here. And if you talk to this guy... Would you happen to be Will? Well, of course. Good! A letter and some luggage have arrived from someone named Bill and Lola. Ah, our grandparents show up again. After we left them there in a Tory village, we didn't meet them for the longest time. And we get a couple of things that will be very, very important for the journey ahead. We get a letter from Bill and Lola, as well as Ulma's journal. We get our father's journal. Let's read the letter first. Have you been okay? Neil told us that he was in Dow, so I'm sending you this letter. I heard the reason why. Grandpa and I are looking forward to seeing you. When we looked in your father's luggage, we found the journal written about the pyramid. I thought it would help you, so I sent it along. Take care, Bill and Lola. And, believe it or not, this thing can actually be discarded, so you might as well go ahead and do it now. And, uh... I'm going to place the journal right here. This is Dao, the desert village. Children don't come to places like this very often. Also, I should mention that the dark space portal up there in the upper left-hand corner, right next to the town exit, really easy to find, unlike Euro. And here's another crook. And here's a merchant. I have fine goods for sale today. You've never seen carpets this nice. And in the house next to where Kara and Eric will be, there's Neil. We meet up with him again. Will, I never thought I'd meet you in a place like this. Neil, you become the company president? Yes, I tried replacing the labor trade with pepper imports. This led me all the way to Dow. There's a pyramid near here. I wonder if a mystic statue is there. And of course, you talk to him again. He just mentions the whole pepper trade import thing again, and that's all he tells you. I am the jeweler Jem. Oh, this is Jem. And of course, we have... 40 here now. Let's give him 41. So we are now on target with what we should be doing in terms of red jewels. Speaking of red jewels, let's not go up to that house yet. And instead, we want to go up to this corner, I believe. Face up. No, it was this one. Go to this corner, face up, press A, you'll get a red jewel. First of three. And these are really easy to get your hands on. Ah. Play the game with the snakes? I don't see why not. The rules are simple. Hit as many snakes as you can in one minute. Hit whatever part, pot you like, that's the start of the game. You want to stand here, and you want to face either left or right to hit as many snakes as you can. If you're standing in the center and you're facing horizontally, and there's a snake in the pot to your left or right, if there's one in the center, you'll also hit it too. So you can hit two snakes very simultaneously very very easy while you're doing this
And of course, don't do the jumping link like I just did. That was a total accident. Wait for him to come out of the animation before you recalibrate yourself there, and you should be good to go. Let's see if I can hit 80. I may hit more than 80 at this rate. Oh, I'm doing really well for myself so far. Also, this seems to be a very long minute. Oh, we're out. 81 snakes! I think that's the highest amount of snakes you can get. I think you may be able to get 82 if you're lucky, though I I doubt you will. But because we hit more than enough snakes, instead of getting one red jewel, we get two. I believe you have to hit a certain number of snakes in order to get that second one. You get the first one just for participating. But if you basically just stood in the center and faced left or right while hitting all the snakes from the center pot, you will hit far more than enough snakes to get the second one. And don't worry about them clogging up your inventory because they'll be sent to Gem. And let's talk to this woman. The girl silently offers one sheet of paper. There was a picture of a jackal. Oh no. A shiver ran down my spine. It was a warning from the jackal who had been stalking us. He came all this way to the other end of the other of, of of the world just to find us. He really is that persistent. A freedom movement had started recently. The president of Rolex started the labor trade freedom movement. This town is famous for spices and carpet. It's said the carpets of Edward Castle took 40 years to weave here. Does this woman say anything else if you talk to her? Oh, we just go through this again. Complete with the, uh, lack of music. And here's some guy working as a snake charmer. Have you ever played Snake Panic? I'm still in training for it. And of course we have these areas here. You've come all the way to this town to buy labor. I can't make up my mind if I should do business with you. You can't put a price on people. Hey, hey, this isn't a show. Get out of here. And if you talk to this guy, he just says nothing. I guess he didn't understand what I said. His eyes were expressive. I'm guessing he was going to be sold somewhere. And in this room, we have women making carpets. She didn't understand. She just kept working. Do they all say that? Yes, they do. I guess I have to go all the way around to talk to this guy. These women are weaving carpets. This will take almost 40 years to weave. This woman has worked on it continuously since she was a child. Remember, little man, some are born to misfortune. Ugh. There's a huge pyramid near here. Many explorers have come for the treasure, but no one's found it yet. Then going to this room, we have three guys talking to each other. The pyramid is made of huge stones. It's strange that it doesn't sink into the desert. We're explorers. I hear there's a treasure inside the pyramid. There's a strange legend around here. The pyramid is not for the living. Only those who've transcended the body may enter. These are the words. The pyramid is a big tomb. The living can't go in? Hmm. And I know there's more you can do around here, maybe. Can you go this way? No. Can't go that way. So... We now have 43 red gems. We are getting very close to 50. And I believe that's as far 
as we can go with this town. We have basically done everything that we can. So we're going to go ahead and enter the dark portal, and we're going to save our game. Join me next time, where I head to the pyramid. There's only one place we can go anyway, so we might as well go ahead and explore it. Until then, this is Prince Watercrafts. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!